Alrighty folks, welcome back again. I'm gonna just do a quick little video this morning. <coughs> Excuse me, no, it's not the Rona. Um, using the Torx bit set that came with the vehicle, I'm taking the, I believe this is the 40 size. And what came in the mail today um, is the Rugged Ridge Cow Mount light uh, mounts. And so I've already started a bolt on this one, loosened it up. And this just comes out like this, and I'm gonna set this aside for the time being. These are not super tight. So you just unscrew it. Now I have lights that I got for Christmas last year, well before I even owned the vehicle, that um, I'm gonna be mounting onto these mounts here eventually, but I do actually have to run um, the wire as well over to the auxiliary um, outlets that are going to be over by the battery and we'll do that in a separate video. But just taking that out, I'm going to go ahead and wipe that clean in there and uh, make sure there's nothing uh, hanging out inside there that's uh, going to cause any scratches. Alrighty, got it wiped out with our good old Norwex Enviro cloth. And these are the outer cowl mounts. So it comes with all the hardware from Rugged Ridge to be able to mount the lights on here. I just went ahead and mounted one up. This is going to be on the, the passenger side. So this will be mounted on here. And this is the driver's side one. So if you're sitting in the driver's seat, this is how it's going to look looking forward. Basically, you put a couple of spacers in there. And uh, instructions say to put the washer on the top and put them down, mount them down on there. And this is for the um, JL and JT, 18 and newer on those. So mine's a 21, it should fit just fine. I'll be back in just a minute after I show these things tightened down. All right, coming back to the finished product. These actually were not the same Torx heads that were on here before. So I actually had to go find from the toolbox an Allen head to work in its place. So I have these on here now, very secure not going anywhere and now we can mount my pod light um, once I'm ready to wire that into the auxiliary switches and have auxiliary lighting on here so there we go the start of another upgrade and I'll go ahead and take care of the other side and do a, a final image on this in just a few minutes alrighty guys thanks for coming back as I mentioned before we've got the cool little Jeep Torx bit set that we can use to take these cowl nuts out As I mentioned on the other side, we will not be reusing these because these are a, a short. Already have the spacers built into them, so you cannot reuse these for these mounts. Do not need this to retighten either because, as I mentioned on the other side over there, if we kept that part of the video in, that um, uh, either a smaller Torx bit or an Allen head size over there. So <clears throat> we will go ahead and just put these tools in, ready to put back away here. Set them there. Be right back in camera in a moment. All right, it wants us to put the uh, stainless washers down here. Just drop them in there. And then we have these uh, spacers right on top of those. There, I had to remove my test fit of the light pod. So in this one goes, find the hole, tighten a little bit by hand, Get the other one, again find the hole, get it started by hand, there we go, and the 
Allen wrench I found that fits these bolts. Tighten a little bit. Go to the back one, get that one started. There we go, got that one tightened a bit. Back to the front. And it says very specifically to be cautious not to over tighten. Do not use power tools on these. So I'm getting them tightened enough. Tightened enough. to ensure that they won't start coming loose. And I'll keep an eye on them. I have some Allen wrenches that I bought to keep in the vehicle. And there we go, nice and tight. All right, I'm gonna grab the pod light so you can see it real quick as well. These are the pod lights I got for Christmas last year. I'm just gonna go in there like that. And I'll have them turned out to the side just a little bit. Make sure I got the angle right. And again, these are not street legal. These are only for off-road use. But this is going to help light up the uh, outer edge of the field of vision when we're in the dark or off-road. So there we have it. That's what that's going to look like. These are going to come down through and mount straight into the auxiliary switches. Uh, found the, the wires where they come up. And make sure these go on to uh, um, a 15 amp line and determine which one that is. And then we'll test them out later and add to this video. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for checking us out. Be sure to like and subscribe. And put your comments below what you think about these. These are some Amazon specials as well. We'll put that in another video later or in the description below. You guys take care. Make a great day. And here we have the look. They blend in so well. You really can't even tell they're there. Unless we're going to be up here. Uh, once the lights are on, you'll be able to see them a lot better. But uh, nice, simple, one-person job. And we got her done.